Hello, I'm Trey Zipperer with By Memorial Day, where we've made it our mission to clean every veteran headstone in America by Memorial Day. Obviously, I can't do this by myself. I need your help. I need you to get out into your local cemeteries, find veteran headstones like this, and get them cleaned and a new flag put up by Memorial Day. Today is April the 18th. Got about five weeks until May the 25th. I want to help you understand exactly how you can help us get this done. Go to findagrave.com, search your county for the cemeteries in your area. Once you see where those are on a map, go out to one or two of them, take a look and see if you find any veteran headstones in need of cleaning. This morning, I'm in Felda, Florida, about an hour east of Fort Myers. It's a rural community, but at one time, as you can see behind me, uh, this was a thriving community, and that white building is a Primitive Baptist Church known as Mount Zion Primitive Baptist Church. I came out to this cemetery. I don't have any ancestors buried here, but I figured there would be some veterans, which there are. I, I looked for uh, a sign. I uh, found no sign with the contact information on it, so I found a marker at one of the grave sites for a local funeral home. Obviously, they had buried someone there, so they must have a contact here. So I called that funeral home. I asked for a contact at Felda Cemetery. Uh, they provided one. I recognized the man's last name because I had noticed that last name on several of the headstones in this cemetery. I called him and asked for permission to clean the veteran headstones. I explained that I would use the protocol provided by the National Cemetery Administration to honor these veterans that we would clean them properly, safely, do no harm, and in install a brand new American flag. He was kind of surprised at my uh, offer, but he said, well, I don't see any harm in doing that. I think it's great what you're doing, so sure, you're, you can do that. So I'm here this morning to get it done. Uh, I've got a volunteer that just showed up to help me. Uh, so you can ask your friends and your neighbors to come out with you and, and get this done. But this is an example of how, that's just as simple as it is. And then you bring your gear. I've got videos online of how to put together a veteran headstone cleaning kit. Bring your supplies uh, after you obtain permission and honor these veterans by giving them a clean headstone. Put up that American flag. It'll be an experience you'll never forget. It's a very meaningful opportunity to, uh, to honor the veterans, the, the, the men and women uh, that make our country free. Memorial Day is on the way. We've got five weeks to get this done. It'll literally take you a few minutes to get permission. It'll take you a few hours to gather your things together and get out into your local cemetery and honor uh, a veteran by cleaning their headstone. Once you've cleaned one, uh, you'll want to clean a second. Maybe you'll clean three or four. Uh, so far, we've cleaned over a thousand here in the Lee County, Florida area. We're running out of veteran headstones to clean, so we're going to branch out into some local uh, counties nearby. Uh, so I ask you to get out in your local area, find these cemeteries, find these veteran headstones, watch our videos how to get it done properly, follow the National Cemetery Administration protocol for cleaning these headstones, and we're going to honor every veteran in America with a clean headstone by Memorial Day. I'm Trey Zipperer. Visit our website at bimemorialday.com.